For many Chinese, New Year is the most important date on the calendar. Millions journey to see family in the country's heartlands by plane, train and bus. But an increasing number are looking outwards, using the holiday as an opportunity for travel and exploration. A favorite destination is Thailand. This is the Erawan Shrine in the capital, Bangkok, where many Chinese come to light candles and make offerings. This couple from Hangzhou came here to escape the spring festival crowds at home in China. In China, too many people, so I want to come out to see the world. This family from Shanghai also chose to celebrate far from home. Uh, I like uh, Thailand. It's my third time to uh, here. Uh, but uh, my grandpa and the grandma first time. So uh, they all uh, want to see uh, another country uh, culture. And it's a New Year trip for these friends from Taizhou. Every day we work uh, at uh, China and uh, holiday just uh, one week. Uh, so we want to visit other uh, countries. This Chinese desire to wander is an increasing phenomenon, say observers. There are 1.4 billion people in China. Only 1% equals 14 million. So just a small percentage of people from China means a lot of visitors for us here in Thailand. This shrine has been witness to both happiness and horror. 18 months ago, a bomb was exploded here, killing 20 people, the majority Chinese tourists. But it remains a place that many want to visit. Many in Thailand are of Chinese descent with a shared culture. So for visitors, it seems both foreign and familiar. A New Year destination that can be a home from home. Martin Lowe, CGTN, Bangkok.